hi friends uh, in this video I am going to show you how to make a DC motor mathematical model and uh, I will also show you how to get a transfer function for this uh, DC motor so if you are new on my channel first you have to subscribe my channel thank you so let us start it DC motor modeling mathematical model modeling of permanent magnet DC motor is presented in this session torque and electrical equation have been considered for derivation of the model the electrical circuit of the motor is shown in this figure one it can be represented by a voltage source VA across the coil of the armature so you can see here this is the external source uh, which is uh, giving mm, the voltage to the rotor or you can say the armature so this is your VA source which is given uh, VA which is the external source and LA and RA is the uh, both are the uh, inductance and resistance of the armature and I is uh, the current flowing which is the current flowing in this branch this is uh, all from the electrical side and this is your mechanical side okay so this is V is basically the input okay so remember this point and uh, from mechanical side you can see here uh, here we have a uh, two torques and uh, basically here we have a uh, three forces one uh, uh, this one first this is the motor shaft torque okay and the mechanical load torque and the basically J is the inertia okay so uh, in the next slide in the next slide you you are seeing here R is the so these these all are the parameters which you will see uh, which uh, you can see here so J is the movement of the energy of the rotor B is the motor viscosious fraction constant and TB is the torque and TM is the torque obviously so TB is the uh, these two torques are basically opposite to each other so in the next slide I will show you so this is from electrical system so electrical system is the basically this system this one is the electrical and this is your mechanical obviously so uh, so if you apply the k uh, if you are the, uh, apply the Kirchhoff's voltage law so you can see here minus V of T and uh, R A I of T plus so this uh, L A D I by D T plus E B of T equals to zero this is your equation one and uh, you can see you can write here in this form obviously and take a Laplace and then this equation will be formed okay so from mechanical side you can see here this is your J and uh, basically these are the forces which is acting on the rotor so t uh, sigma summation of all torques equals to j d square theta by dt dt square okay and tm and tb basically these two forces are opposite to each other okay so this is equals to this uh, uh, equals to j theta uh, d D, uh, d square theta by dt square obviously so now you can see here uh, you can write in this form okay now you have to take a Laplace of this equation you will get this equation okay so j theta uh, j s square theta 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 of s plus b s of because uh, I will uh, I am I have taken here the this is this is the uh, equation I have take the Laplace of this equation so I will get this equation okay so uh, for electromechanical equations bec uh, because we have a input uh, is uh, we have a voltage input electrical input and we will get the mechanical output so which is speed or maybe position control okay so eb of t is uh, equals to kb theta of m and 
T M of T M of T, which is K of T and I. Obviously, if you are increase the armature current, obviously the torque of the so if the torque or uh, if the torque is increases, then I A also increases, or you can say I A increases, then torque also increases. Similarly, this relation, if the theta values is increases, then E of B voltage is also increases. So we have uh, need to take a uh, Laplace of these all uh, these two equations, which is E uh, E B of S equals to K B S theta of S. So obviously you already know how to. Uh, how to uh, take a Laplace of uh, these equations? Okay, so now uh, this is your transfer function. So how to uh, get a transfer function? So by putting e e b of s and t m of s in equation a we get. So where is uh, our equation a? So equation a is this one. Okay, so I am putting all these values in this equation okay so in this in this slide so I am putting this uh, equation number uh, e e b of s and uh, uh, t of uh, t of m of s we we are putting in equation one so we will get this equation okay which is equation number e uh, now simply we are just putting these all values okay so uh, you don't worry about this how to uh, how to get this equation so this is very simple so you have to just uh, put these values in uh, above uh, in previous slide you can see here in this section okay so this is very simple i a i of s and i of s values so now you have to uh, now we are putting T of uh, T of M of S in equation number E, we get this. Okay, so E uh, T of S is this one. Obviously, this is your equation. Uh, this is your equation T of S. So we will get this one, this equation. Now, finally, you can see the uh, transfer function of this DC motor, and this is your block diagram. Okay, which is presenting how to uh, how system works okay so thank you so much for watching